My name is Cristina Arencias. I came from Spain mm -hmm. and now I'm working uh, in the Hospital Ramón y Cajal in Madrid. About my research, uh, I start uh, in a more biotechnological uh, sci uh, science part with uh, uh, the polyhydroxyalkanoate uh, producing bacteria. I study in uh, a predatory bacteria and use it, it uh, like a lytic tool. And from there, we move. I move uh, for uh, the more clinical application. And now I'm working uh, on developing a new therapeutic approach to fight uh, a anti antimicrobial resistance yeah. with different uh, tools yeah, okay. in the lab. So then the topic of this summer school is very close to the... Yes, the I think yeah. so. And so have you found the experience of the last 10 days here? How, how is it? Have you enjoyed it? What kind of aspects do you remember most? Yeah, so it's super, super interesting, this uh, summer school. I didn't, I, I didn't know all the topics because they, they touch a lot of uh, um, parts of yeah, the science. Of different mentors. Yes, different yes, yes, a lot of approach. And I think uh, I can apply most of this basic knowledge, this uh, basic mechanism that they describe and that they are working on, we can be applied like in a more uh, clinical thing to 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 fight uh, the antimicrobial resistance. So is, is that what is that will that be your main takeaway then? Do you think from this summer school? Yes. You're looking at mechanisms you can use in your own research. Yes, and also make the collaboration because I met here a lot of people from different data uh, analysis, yeah. uh, people that work with different uh, bacteria with different resistance, with different mechanisms. So I think it uh, could be a good uh, place to make the network. And now I know uh, to whom I have to ask if, yeah, okay. if I so have you to. you now know people that you can go to with your questions. Yes. You people, postdocs at the same level, yes. looking at similar stuff, and then mentors who can help you advance or not. Yes. Yeah, okay. So when you go back to your lab and your team, uh, is there anything you want to try immediately that you've had ideas about when you've been here? Yes, there are a lot of uh, inspiring uh, talks mm -hmm. with uh, mentors yeah. that uh, give me some ideas about uh, one of the projects uh, that I'm go working on already, mm -hmm. that we are like kind of bloke because we yeah. don't know in yeah, which okay. uh, direction we so want to go. So maybe uh, for sure I will, I will apply these uh, strategies to... Okay. So what's the strategy that you think? So you for instance, right? um, we have here a lot of uh, persisters, uh, ex experts, mm -hmm. and uh, I work uh, now with the collateral sensitivity phenomenon, and I was thinking if uh, it, the mechanism could be uh, in the other way around. Mm -hmm. So if the techniques that they use, like uh, to measure the rows or the membrane uh, damage or uh, this, uh, the, pH, the intracellular pH could be also be related with the mechanism of the collateral sensitivity that it's when the bacteria death earlier yeah. than the counterpart. So okay. maybe could be, but in the other yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. In the other way. And you, yeah, I mean, it's a very informal space here, isn't it? So you've got yeah, time sure. to meet everyone and chat about everything. Yes. So if you could, could you sum up the summer school in three words? What would be the three words you choose to describe it? Um, multidisciplinary, yeah. close. Yeah, like close and intimate. Yes, yeah. like uh, we are super close and mm -hmm. uh, we are like feel super confident and uh, uh, very inspiring. Oh, inspiring. In, yeah, yeah, inspiring. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's a good three words. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, with your research, when you go back, what what's the kind of direction that you're moving into? Like, what field um, will you take the research into, do you think, over the next few years? Mine? Yeah. I, I like a lot uh, the searching for new approaches to fight the... the the okay, antimicrobial yeah. resistance. So I, I'm always belong to a 
uh, more uh, basic uh, science uh, uh, lab, but I like more the applicability. Yeah, so okay. I, I wanted to apply the knowledge that I learned, but uh, in a real uh, scenario, yeah, okay, with, with pathogens, the real, yeah. real pathogens, clinical isolates, mm -hmm. real antibiotics, not the, the ones that we get uh, from the industry, maybe the ones that has the um, uh, uh, recipes and the things that uh, make the... Okay. Hmm. And do you have any compounds or any sort of promising directions for sort of new antimicrobial? No, I don't know <laughs> if I have a... Uh, no. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. No um, yet. <laughs> awesome. And um, what's your favourite memory of this last 10 days? Is there one thing that stands out? Uh... But the place is super nice. Yeah, the ground. The, the yes, yeah. the um, the atmosphere, and I don't know. I think uh, we made a super great uh, team mm -hmm. in here. Like yeah. we match, and we uh, perfectly stay because we are like from the different parts of the world and yeah. different parts of the of the science and I feel super comf comfortable here mm -hmm. and, and I think this nice is yes you will share the experience with and you'll yes. but the, the most important thing is that I feel confidence that yeah. I don't feel like the people judge me mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah so this yeah. and this is super nice when you are in science that we have always to demonstrate that yeah. we know the things so here they uh, they are creating this atmosphere and, and it is super nice. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time today. Thank and, you. Uh, I hope you enjoy the next day or two left of the, of the summer school. Okay. And it's been good to chat, so thank you for joining me in this interview chair. Thank you, Joe. Awesome.